Okay, that's the second episode. Oh man, I should have given some people some items. Thank you. 
and you confused me. Well, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was gonna happen soon. Hurricane PP. Oh my goodness! Wow, that 
does a lot. That's it! Oh, you critted me, that's why. I'm tired of these crits, man. Oh, wait, you're not like. Oh, I. Oh, you must be Share Voice. I see. Minus three. You need to stop. Now you're just being cute. Yeah, 
keep going for that, uh, keep going down for that, please. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Okay. I just wasted that. That's whatever. That did nothing. <laughs> it just I had a rocky helmet. Yeah, 
so many ultra pushes. Jeez, man, this field is devastating. Finally, justice. That's four. Goodness, it went for thunder.
fashion.
stupid boosted hurricane that never misses us. I should have went to this thing. Dragonite out of my face.
40 minutes.
That's minus two. That's minus two, by the way. By the way, that's, I think that's four sky attacks. Did you crit me? Wow, that wasn't a crit. That's minus three, guys. It was a good idea to make Hurricane 100% accurate with the boost in this build. Who thought this was a good idea? You know what? I'm gonna try it out. Give me your item. Thanks. 
need that iron bar. means I can have one Zilla. Oops. That's right. Hell, like an earthquake. Oh, no, 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 why? Why is it at the bottom?
kill you. Well, if they kill me, I'm gonna hit anyway. I haven't been here yet, so I can't Oh, what's that? I 
get this without your you? I'm getting a plus six. Screw that. <laughs> I'm getting a plus six. You, you've caused your own demise. Oh, you have fly! Oh, you have fly! Oh, no, 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 you have fly! I was really hoping it was Hurricane. You have fly. Of course you have fly. Shit. Okay. Alright, change your plans. There's a way around this. Um, how many revives do I have? I have one revive and three front of things. Alright. Nice miss. 
now we're going to press this. I think plus three is going to be good enough for the Thunders. I need to get this thing in. I need to get this thing out of here as soon as possible. In your team mixed. Oh, I live. Oh my good goodness, Pidgeot! You have very weak defense. You have very weak attack. I can't believe I lived that. And I lived that with I was like around half, right? No, I don't remember how much damage he did to me. Let me see. Okay, this time he's hurricane. Because he thought I wasn't gonna heal. Oh wow. That was frightening. Okay. Let's just go for it. Oh, heat wave. I think that's game. I think that's game. I think that's game. I think that's game. <laughs> Get this pitchy out of here. Go. Gone. Yes! 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 Outstanding. Ah, good. It was supposed to be this way. You deserve this too, Shen. Take it with pride. With that, your Pokemon should be able to use fly, the move Fly out of the battle. Please take this with you as well. Ooh, acrobatics. They're horrible beings. Spacing on Tampa. What? You thought I didn't know? They may not see themselves as more as they may not see themselves as morally ambiguous, but their tactics are cold and cruel. It's all for the bigger picture. I unfortunately became a victim to the grand scheme. I'm sure it was mentioned once or twice by Scylla in the past, but she lost her fiancé suddenly while she was just kicking off her career as a lawyer. I was her fiancé. At least at the time I was. Wow. 
I had been killed by a jealous doctor who thought of my spiritual healing as a threat to his business. Because of that, Zella went to Sheridan Village to mourn my passing, my supposed passing. But as I died, Spatia and Tempa appeared with an offer I could not have refused. They would grant me temporary life, a life to dedicate myself to spiritual healing. They kept me alive so that when Elita would be cursed, I could awaken her. But then the plan changed when you appeared into the equation. Spatia and Tempa were amazed by your power, your skill. So they advised me to become the substitute flying type leader so that I could speed up your journey. Those hooligans. Ah, but we know no longer need to linger up here in the skies, do we? I believe it's time for us to return to Earth. To the Earth! You know, the other day, a child looked at me pretty weird. I wonder... Why that was... I don't know what to say about that. And Aaron saw the entire thing. Wait. Is Sota gone? He just got up and left? I've been with that old man since I was born, and he didn't even take the time to say goodbye? Fine, if that's how it's going to be, then good riddance. That old man is a stupid liar. He went back on his promise to me. My goodness, man. He was... He was quite the opponent. That Pidgeot using Fly almost broke my spirit. I swear, that Pidgeot using Fly nearly broke my spirit. But apparently Pidgeot has so weak attack that even Lancelot could be taken. Surprisingly so. Lancelot isn't the most physically bulky Pokemon ever. Eldest, are you doing okay? Yes, I'm doing quite fine, but I... I believe it's time for us to break this curse that ails you once and for all. Well, isn't that a good thing? Good riddance. I can't wait th until this is all over with them. Uh, I can't wait until this is all over with, so I don't feel like I'm on the verge of having a migraine every few moments. I'm going to tell you the truth, but just know that it may not be the truth you want to hear. Eldest, I'm sure I'm going to be fine. Just go on and say it already. Like I was saying before, Talia, Kada, and I rebuilt Sheridan from the ground up. The place was completely shattered by the calamity. But no one knew of Sheridan, or cared to, so they didn't send any help our way. By the time we were sent help, we already were back in business. Eventually, Kada and Talia got married and had a child. Things were great, and it finally felt like peaceful times had returned to us. That was until one night disaster struck. A man in a cloak led Kada out of his house and entered his home without him knowing. While Kada was distracted with affairs outside, the man in the cloak then killed everyone in the house. Wait, what? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Man in a cloak? Man in a cloak. Have we, have we met a man in a cloak before? It could be anyone. I'm, I doubt it's Team Zen, because the only really irritating person of Team Zen would be, um, what's his name? The guy with Giratina. Oh, Gira. Yeah, that's a good hint. W wait, but you told me my mother died in an accident. My mother was murdered? That little girl we met, Talia, ended up being murdered? Wait a second, Aelita. Sola just said that everyone in the house was murdered. Yeah? What about it? Kata and Talia had a child, remember? But Sola said only said that Kata left the house. What does that mean, Elita? That means their child was murdered too? But Eldest, that's not possible. I'm standing right here, aren't I? How could I be murdered and also be still be standing here today? That's because you aren't the child of Kata and Talia. Oh. I'm not the child of Kata and Talia? Who... who am I then? Tell me. If Talia was my mother, then where the hell did I come from? 
Where are my real parents? Where is my true home? Your true home is Sheridan, there's no question about that. But the truth of the matter is that you will have no parents, Alita. That's absurd. How could Alita not have any parents? Is it absurd, Melia? You were there the day Italia, the day Italia was created. She appeared out of thin air, remember? Sometimes the world works in ways you don't expect it to. Oh, is she another reincarnation? Oh! Wow, he was right. By he, I mean, you, well, you know what? I'll talk to you about that at a later time. Sometimes the world works in ways you don't expect it to. No, it can't be true. I'll just, are you saying that I'm saying the curse that ails you is what I call Vivian's madness? When Vivian sacrificed herself, she was bound to a life of perpetual reincarnation. When she died, Talia was born. So Taylor really ended up being... So Talia was really an anagram, just like... <laughs> If you if you watch Lord Wallace's Let's Play of this game of this game, which I watched before, but I didn't watch the entire thing because I didn't want to know everything. Uh, watch Lord Wallace. He pretty much figured this out as soon as he uh, saw the name Taylor because it looked exactly it was an anagram of a evil. He was right. I thought Taylor was her mother, and she was creative with her name by just rearranging the letters. But wow. Okay. When she died, Taylor was born, and when Taylor was killed, a leader was born. Kato wasn't your father. In fact, he was your husband while you were still Taylor. That's weird. That is... wow. <laughs> My whole life was a lie then, wasn't it? I was never the person I thought I was. I understand now. Kato was depressed because of me. I was an everyday reminder that he couldn't protect the one he loved. While it is true that you were causing grief, it was not your fault. He had his own demons he had to attend to as well. Is this why... Is this why I wasn't marked down to be the next Sensei or Sheridan? That's correct. As long as you have this curse on you, the man in the hood might come back to seal the deal once and for all. We, had, we did this to protect him, to hide you from whoever that man was. Because he came back multiple times, looking to finally end your life once and for all. Oh. Hey, Lita! Everyone, quick, we need to stop her from leaving the grounds. She just got a whole lot thrown at her at once. Maybe she needs some time alone? No, not Alita. She needs... No, not Alita. She needs to be watched. By the way, I thought we agreed to not push her like that. Don't you remember what happened the last time she was pushed this way? Oh, I remember. I remember clearly. But to break this curse, it must be destroyed. I'm bringing it out of her on purpose. Aaron, go watch Alita. Shay. Give me Silta's cane. Uh, right. He left the behind, correct? Good. I'm going to need this. I want you and Malia to meet me outside. Things are going to go well. Be prepared. Oh, we're going to have to battle, aren't we? Shen, if anything goes wrong out there, I'll use my power to help. This time, we're the ones in control. We have this. I'm tempted to stop this video right here. I am very tempted to stop this video right here. Um, you know what? I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to make this video an uh, extremely long one. I'm going to combine them, um, to make, uh, an extremely long video. So, just in case it, the version ends unexpectedly. I don't want to be, like, five minutes saying version ends. So, uh, we'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright, we're back, guys. Uh... If we're expected to fight a Lita, then having rock types will probably be detrimental to us. Just in case, I'm going to switch out. Let's see. Christmas and put you in a box for now. Alright. I wonder, do I have the iron ball back? 
Yeah. <laughs> would, it, would it be hilarious if I got the weakness policy like that? Oh, it's starting. <clears throat> this is what she looked like on the on the day Soda broke her, the chains around her heart. Looks like Elita isn't taking the news too lightly, huh? What's the situation? Well, as you can clearly see, Elita is having a panic attack. Perhaps the worst panic attack the world has ever seen. Well, that's relatable. What's the plan, then? The plan is to open up her heart while she's vulnerable in this form. First, I have to combine my power with Soda's. Soda. Let's finally end this. Aaron, stand aside. Elita. You've kept the information from me my entire life. My entire life has been a lie because of you. Your life? A lie? No. But you you were placed in a false setting. One that I have made true to you through my love. No, you did it to enslave me. To keep me from destroying everything. Believe what you want, but that doesn't change your reality. I'll kill all of you. No, you won't. What are you doing, Eldis? Release me! Elida, you've always been stubborn as a rock. But this time, you will listen. This time, I shall not fail. Yeah. Oh. Now reform. Ooh. What the hell is that? It looks kind of like a portal. That's exactly what it is. It's a portal into Elida's heart and subconscious. Malia, Shen, you also might know this as a dimensional rift. That's the weirdest dimensional rift I've ever seen, that's for sure. Why does it look so different? That's because Elita is a human. Elita mentioned to me that you fought many of these before. A Pokemon holds much more power than a normal human does, so their rifts are larger and stronger. But if a human were to ever come across a plague like this, it would take this one. So what do we do about this? We must infiltrate the dimensional rift and forcibly extract Elita from it. However, I don't think she's going to... She'll go with you voluntarily. Do what you must to bring her out of this hell. Okay, Shen and I will go in there and get her. Not a chance. This is my seat. Shen and I will go in there. But Alita! I've been with Alita through most of this. I want to be the one to finally set her free. Then let's all go? That's not a problem, is it? Actually, Maria, I'm going to need you out here. I'm going to need your power if anything goes out of control. My power? How did you know about that? We can talk later, but now we must prepare to dive into the new start. Shen, speak to me whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting here with everyone else. Let's go. Are you ready to venture through? Once we step foot through the rift, we may not be able to leave. Let's go. Are you all absolutely sure this is going to work? Yes, this is what has to be done. Remember what I said. Elita probably won't come out voluntarily. Her mind will be clouded by her own rift. You must do all you can to drag her out. Finally, an opportunity to literally, literally slap some sense into that girl. What are we waiting for then? Let's do this. to look, well, not so peaceful. It kind of looks like we're in a children's picture book, yeah? Judging by that S, I'm going to assume we're in some sort of shared and village replica. Some people just can't let it go of their home. We probably have a lot of ground to cover. The faster we find Elita, the faster we can get out of there. And the faster I can tell Elita that her artwork definitely needs improvement. <laughs> it's been a long time. Well, it's been a long time for me, but I guess I can't say it's been the same for you. Somehow, I knew we'd find you in here. Well, of course. This is our burden, too. And by our, you're referring to Talia, correct? Yes. I'm here, too. Huh. And so she makes her debut. And you two just expect me to believe that you're the real Vivian and Talia? How do I know this isn't some trap sent by Alita's Rift? Unfortunately, we cannot prove we aren't. You're just going to have to trust us. Well, that's a tall order. It doesn't matter. 
What does matter is that if you don't act fast, Alita will disappear forever, and us along with her. I'm proud of what Sela accomplished, but this sort of thing is double-edged. While in this state, we remain vulnerable to our own burden's manipulation. So then let's stop talking and get going, as you wish. She's here, in our old house. We won't be able to directly influence what happens after this point, but we will try and help in whatever way we can. That would be appreciated. Ready, Shen? Let's do this. Let's hope she isn't as hard as what she is. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, hello! You must be a lady's friends from school, right? Huh? Kevin, sweetheart, can you go fetch a leader for me? Of course, dear. Did you happen to know where she is? Last time I saw her, she said she was going outside to play with me. Mommy, mommy, I'm home! Elita, there you are. Your friends from school are here to visit you. I'm going up to my room. Okay, darling. I'll send your friends up there as well. Okay. Did we just speak to you outside? Huh? I'm afraid this is the first time we've met, sweetie. Natalia outside did say that she wouldn't be able to help us past that point, if it is just what she meant. I'm afraid I'm not following you, dear. That's fine. You're not real anyway. Let's move aside. Yeah. Why do you always have to go and ruin everything, huh? Can't you see that we're the perfect family here? Everything's perfect. What? That wretched child ruins everything for us. Now look. Our guests think that we're bad people. Are we too neglectful of the house? Have we said something too rude? What is going on here? Relax! Actually, this all started when I said... Hey, Talia, this isn't real, you know. Now look at what you've done. Oh, I skipped it by mistake. What are we going to tell them? We, that we have no sugar? This is all your fault, you know. If you just let her go, none of this would have happened. How could I let her go? How, Kenneth? It's like I'm watching a really bad family sitcom fall apart. Sheesh. Alright, would you two mind disappearing so that there's space for people who actually exist? That would be nice, thank you. Well, that got rid of him. It seems like Alita's Rift gets irritated when you try to disprove of its authenticity. I'm not surprised. Alita's been living in a bubble for her entire life. But did you know that popping bubbles is a favorite pastime for me? Because it is. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I thought this was a door. Drawings are so bad I can't tell. Where did Aaron go? Oh, this way. Hey, Lena. Oh, hello, friends. Are you here to play? Not particularly. Hey, Lena. There's something we need to talk about. Talk? Why not play? Hey, Lena. I'm going to need you to listen to me carefully. We're going to need you to come with us. Can I go with you? I. You don't remember it now, but you don't belong here. People outside are waiting for you to return. But, but I don't want to go. I'm afraid this isn't a choice. We're going to get you out of here. No, I don't want to go. I want to stay here with my mom and dad. Everything here is so perfect, so why don't you just go? Oh, whoa! Oh. Don't make me say it, Elita. You won't want to hear it. Get away from me. You need to wake up, Elita. You know more than anyone else here that this world isn't real. It's real! It isn't, and I'm not going to baby you like everyone else in your life did. I'm going to drag you out of this dream, whether you like it or not. This isn't real? Nothing here is real? No, it can't be. It can't be real. No! What? No! Ah, I 
if I get thrown around by this girl one more time. I think we're almost at the end of this thing. Either it must be guiding us to her. But when we find her there, you're familiar with these dimensional rips, right? Then you should be prepared to do whatever must be done. Bella. Regirock? I wasn't... Whoa, 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 whoa. Regirock? Rock fighting? The incarnation of the curse placed on Elita and the burden Vivian and Talia shared. She won't stop until our perfect world is complete. A world without anyone. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with your attack and... What's with your special attack and speed? Savagery, Alita becomes more powerful the more she's knocked down. Oh my goodness. So the more damage she takes, the more powerful she is? Perhaps this is reflective of her stubborn nature? Is her motivation fueled by of, of desires locked away deep down inside? Regardless, she must be saved from herself or she will live in regret forever. So it's basically, um, it's basically. It's basically uh, uh, an attack version of stamina. Okay. Now I don't know. I don't know who to. I wonder. Can I? Can I give a dimensional Pokemon an item? Well, only one way to find out, I guess. It gets better at me sometimes. Groove and magic requires a price to pay. Everyone must give up something they love, no matter what it is, such as the rule of equivalent exchange. But no one is prepared for the consequences of their desires. Neither were we. Look at you two insignificant worms trying to ruin my paradise. Treading on th through a world where you don't belong makes you unwanted. Out there I am weak and fragile, but here I am powerful. Here I am invincible. And you all, you're nothing to me. Just an obscure little ants that will fall into my bullets. Fucking enough with the edgy bullshit. Elita, you are the most stubborn, annoying little bitch that I have ever met in my entire life. But damn it, that's who you are and that's just who you should be. Falling in your own sub petty is one of the things that makes you the weakest. You think you're all big and tough in this world? On the contrary. I've never seen someone act so pathetic and helpless. You want to be strong? You want power? Then get up and change things yourself for once in your damn life. Come on, Shane. If she wants to act stupid, then we'll act stupid too. Fine, do what she wants, but I shall not fail. Likewise. Let's go! Wow! 
Oh, gone! <laughs> I guess I'll never know now. Wait. It said she gets stronger every time? Explains why her special attack. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we can't have that. You've been freed, Elita. That's right. Because of Shen and Aaron, the curse that ailed us has been broken. This world is beginning to crumble as we speak. So this will be the only time we are together again? I'm afraid that's just how things are meant to be. Mom. I, I mean, Talia. I've always seen you as my mother. But I now know that, that it's not the case. I don't really have a mother. You were born from my death. In one way, I am. We are connected through blood and soul. Is there any more to be said? Heh, <laughs> I guess not. One last thing, though. What is the lady later, darling? What was her name? Your real daughter, I mean. Her name was Nora. Nora? Wait, that name sounds familiar. What a nice name. Elita. There's something I must tell you before we run out of time. 
Listen closely. Well, isn't this interesting? We were this close to getting her out of here. I just wasn't fast enough, I guess. But that's not going to stop me. This isn't the first time I've been away. If this rev still exists, that must mean that she's still around here somewhere, right? Standing around here isn't going to do us any good. Let's... Oh! Well, okay. <laughs> I see... I see Malia just went Super Saiyan again. <laughs> hey, Lita! Is she going to be okay? She's going to be just fine. Thanks to Melia's power, we were able to cause cleanse Belita of Vivian's madness. I wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been possible without Aaron and Chen. I just saw an opening the moment Belita was knocked out. Ugh, man, I have such a bad headache. Come, let's bring her to bed. She needs to regain her strength. We'll bring her to my room. Finally, how is she? Who, Zella? She's a little old, but she's still going. Y right. Calm down. I was only kidding. Elita's doing just fine. That's a relief. Does she... You know. Does she remember everything? Yeah, I'd say so. I think she's taking it pretty well. That's good. She's taking a night nap right now, though. So no visitors. Surely you'll be able to occupy yourselves with things until she's ready to go, yes? Yeah, of course. She's been through a lot. So have you two, but I don't see you taking any breaks. Hmm, whatever. There's actually something I wanted to tell you. Oh? What would that be? There's this box that's been sitting on the ground near the entrance to the theater. Nobody really talked about it, so I decided to take a look. Lo and behold, it's something for you, Maya. Oh, it's from Elia? And here I thought that was, uh, Elita's box. For when we beat the Puppet Master. For me? That's odd. Who would send me something? Don't know. It came from someone called the Puppet Master. And so it was from the Puppet Master. I have no clue who that is, but Alita said she and Shen had a run-in with them once. Alita doesn't think they're particularly malicious, so but you should be careful regardless. Um, I'm going to take a look, I guess. I'll go with you. I'll go too. I'm curious about what she, um, he gave her. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm not waiting for anything. I'm just waiting. It's not a bomb. At least I hope it's not. Aaron, that makes me not want to open it even more. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm afraid to open this. Yeah, that much is clear. Just open it? If it's a bomb, we will be dead, and none of this <laughs> none of this will matter anyways. Aaron, that's not convinced me to open the box. I never claim to be good at persuading people. Or maybe I have, and this is just my way of weirdly persuading you. Fine, I'll open it. It worked! I win. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Books. More books. Ah, even more books. Hey, this box is just filled with books. Books on top of books on top of even more books. Well, take a look at what they're about. This one says, Strange Phenomenons 101 and How to... I'm not reading that aloud. Yeah, yeah. But what about this one? Mere Regions. Mere Region. Origins. Wait, what? Isn't that the region Katsu talked about on Route 4? What could a book about that region be doing here? Wait, these books have weird stickers inside of them. There's a card with a list of names on them. Huh? That's a book from Blakery Athenium. Athenium. That's a book from Blakery Athenium. Okay. Bakery Athenium. Athenium is just a fancy way for a library. It's located in the Scholar District. Melia, look at this. The final name written down on the card. No way. Rune checked out. Rune checked out this book. Not only this book, but every single book in this box has Rune's name on it. Shen, did you find something? This is Rune's library card. Why does the Puppet Master have access to all of these things that belong to Rune? Rhetorical, but it just doesn't make any sense. And why send these things to me, of all people? When 
Athena spoke to me about the Puppet Master. She said they would send information on Team's end. Their motives? Their true reason for what they are doing? But she said that they wouldn't tell their outright. Perhaps this is a Puppet Master's way of giving us a hint. In that case, it's only smart to... Gosh, I finally found you three! Huey, what are you doing here? Lavender finally has been released from the emergency room. Where is she now? She still needs to stay in the hospital for a few days, but she's doing well. But she asked me to go get you, Aaron, Shen, and, uh, Kanan? Speaking of which, where is the dude? Don't worry about it. Does she want to talk about what happened the night with Venom? That's exactly it. She said she has information that will be important to you. Information about someone you used to know. Someone we used to know? She was being vague, but that's all I have. Then we need to make our way to the hospital home right now. You mind telling me why you have a child cup cooped up all the way down here? She's a special case. I don't see the problem. The problem is that this isn't a quarantine zone. If she's not infectious, then she doesn't belong all the way down there. Why not put her upstairs like all the rest? Why do you even care? It's my work, and that's all it is. It was very nice speaking to you, Madonna, but you've overstayed your welcome. Cassandra sent you for a cork stitch, and that's what you got. So please leave. What in the... What is a child like you doing all the way down here? Oh, a visitor? I, I thought Isha said he would be the, my only one. But, uh, why aren't you upstairs with the rest of the patients? Oh, that's because I have a special disease no one else has. That's what the doctor told me. Goodness, well, you're so young. What's your name? My name is... Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, it's Francesca. I remember now. <laughs> Francesca? No, that can't be. You're... Francesca? Well, time to make a phone call. A phone call to an old friend. Ah, Shen finally arrived. Hello, Shen. Lavender, I'm just happy you're doing so well. Huey, you've already cried once. Are we going to do that again? Lavender, you don't have to say that in front of everyone. Oops, sorry, Huey. If you never cry again, I'll never have to accidentally expose you in front of everyone again. All right, that's a deal. I'll never cry again. Huey, I'm only kidding. You don't have to actually do that. I, I knew that. I was... Uh, I don't mean to cut you short. Actually, I do mean to. This lovey dovey stuff is making me sick. Er, right. <laughs> you didn't deny it! Lavender, I'm glad you're doing alright, but I need to know what happened. No, no, you're right. I didn't call you, you all here to laugh and catch up. I called you here to fulfill my promise, and also to deliver a message. I know exactly who turned Venom to stone. I saw them with my own two eyes. This... this is what happened. So, let's try this again, Lavender. What are you doing up so goddamn late? Alright, fine. I suppose there's no harm in telling you what I'm doing. You see... What the hell is that? What is that? What... What is that? It looks like a robot from back here? I don't know. I don't know, but don't fucking like it. let it touch you. Whoa. Target confirmed. A girl. Wait! That's Nim? Why did you scare us like that? That wasn't very nice of you. Your name is Lavender, correct? Uh, yes. That's all I needed to hear. Wait! Whoa, whoa! Easy! No need to bring out those claws immediately, you know? How about we just talk about this for a second? You two talk far too much as it is. I don't need to hear you. I'm doing my job, but that's all. Have we met before? Huh? I've never seen you before in my life. I've definitely seen your face before. You were the girl Malia was trying so hard to save. What was your name? Nim. Your name was Nim, wasn't it? But that's impossible. How can you be alive? Now I remember you. I've only seen you in, with your purple hair. With your hair purple. S see? We're friends. We aren't friends. Not even close. What? Why the hell not? 
I wonder, have you two ever felt real fear before? Real fear? I... I can't say that I have. I want to see you experience fear. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Better run, playthings, otherwise the big bad Nim is going to get you. And you don't want that. Ugh. Venom and I ran for what seemed like hours. No matter which turn we took, no matter what dumpster we had under, that girl Nim, she was there, just waiting for us. Why would she be doing this to us? I mean, wasn't she brought back and transformed by Crescent? Or at least cut the Crescent cut her hair and made, made sure that her name was Laura, right? Why? What is going on? That girl Nim, she was there, just waiting for us. It's like she was toying with us. She had no intention of catching us. She just wanted to see us run in fear. That's when it happened. What? What's the problem? We can't stop. Listen to me, Lavender. She's not going to stop chasing us. No matter where we go, she'll be right behind us. I need you to go without me while I buy you time, okay? What are you talking about? I'm not going to leave you behind. God damn it, I'm not giving you a choice. It's either she catches us or we die of exhaustion. So we're going whether so you're going whether you like it or not. Uh, okay, I'll go. Good. I'm going to need you to go get Sharon and Melia. Melia. If you can get them, you'll be safe. Tell them, tell them that Nim did this. Promise me that you'll find and tell them that. And one, one last thing. I may not get another chance to say this. Tell Melia this for me. Remember, I love you. I, I will. I'll tell her. Good. Then go. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so fucking stupid. I hope you aren't too angry with me, Elia. Where are you? Where are you? How long can you run for? I'm getting bored, and that won't be nice. Won't you? Oh, won't you? Keep playing? There you are. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Here I am, your coward. After everything we went through to save you. Just why exactly did we bust our ass to save someone who's insane? Hmm? You calling me a coward? Who's the one trembling in fear and stepping away from me? The only coward here is you, Venom. How does it feel to not be tough anymore? You always think you're in control when you really have no you have no control. You selfish girl. But being selfish is all you've never known. Even now, in the selfless act of sacrifice, you do nothing but bitter but bitter my tongue with greed, taste of greed. You're not a hero, nor a good person. But that's all the time we have for now. Let's say we wrap up this show. W what? Did my scary bit scare you? I worked really hard on sending you sending genuine. You should you should have seen the look on your face when I sent went all grim reaper. You're saying all of this was just a prank? <laughs> no, I'm still going to kill you. Oh. Well, I wouldn't exa exactly say kill you. That's more like petrification. You know, I kind of went through the same thing. Don't worry, you won't feel pain. In fact, you won't be feeling much at all. Oh, and for the record, I know you all left me on foul enough to die. So how dare you say after all we've done for you? You've all done nothing for me. She showed me after all. She? Who was she? Heh, <laughs> when you'd like to know. I think it would satisfy to see you in a nice piece of suspense. I know she is Crescent. It could only be Crescent. Besides, the only person who cared enough to try and save me was Shen. Shen came to Bell Mountain by themselves and tried to save me. But they failed. So good night, Venom. Have a nice six Nim, don't listen to her! Whoever this person is, they're lying to you. You don't know what the, know the hell we went through to try and save your life. And stop calling me Nim. That's not my name. My name is Lorna. Oh, Lorna. The girl who was alone. I wasn't even there, but I could hear and see what everything going on. Even though I ran for as far as I could remember, it's like the hall was never ending. I couldn't run away from what was happening to Venom until it was over. It was like I was a nightmare. But it 
that's what ended there. Eventually, I couldn't run anymore. That collapsed. <sighs> Truthfully, you were supposed to be the one next to my list. certain circumstances came up that shifted my point of view. Thus, I'm sparing you the dread of having to carry the stone for now at least. But I want you to relay a message to a very special someone. I believe you know her as Melia. Tell her that I'm looking for her, and that when I finally find her, I'm going to kill her myself. Do you understand me? Team Zone will get her, because I will. Oh, and a small piece of advice. Don't hang around these people. Things like these happen to you. Goodbye, Lazarus. This won't be the last time we see you. Is that all then? Yes, I believe so. Okay then. See you later, Lavender. I wish you a speedy recovery. What? Where are you going? Hmm? I'm going back to the Rose Theater to check on Amanda. Is there something wrong? Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't exactly the way I expected you to react. It's, I'm a little confused. Could you clarify? Aren't you afraid? I thought you were guilty of, about this girl's death. Oh, I was definitely guilty. That's sort of gone now. Huh? I don't get the sudden change in your attitude. Why should I react any differently? I felt guilty about Lim's death for months. I wasn't able to sleep or think clearly because I thought everything was my fault. Little did I know that she was alive and well. Oh, and also, she's trying to kill me. Lavender, if you ever see Nim, Lorna, or whatever they called at this point, tell them to wait in line because several other people are in the for my capture. In fact, let her find me herself. I'll deal with her like I do with any enemy. I'm done going out of my way to protect everyone. It just can't happen. The only people that matter to me anymore are my friends. That's all. Melanie. She'll be fine. She's just going through her edgy face. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, Aaron. She looks pretty serious about what she said. Oh, no doubt. Her ideology has probably changed considerably. But she'll perk up eventually. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had visitors, I wonder. Unfortunately, visiting hours are now officially over. Everyone must leave. I'll come visit again soon, Lavender. I'll be waiting. So, Doc, how are things looking? You only suffered a mildly asthma attack. We're just going to make sure everything in you is fine. Good. I can't wait to be released. Um, by the way, will you know when that'll be? When will what be? My, my release? The doc Doctor? I've decided on what I'm going to do next. And that is? You said that the, you said those books are from Lakery Athenian, right? And if the Puppet Master wants me to go and the if and the wait. What if the Puppet Master wants me to go there next? So you're just going to go there in hopes of mere guidance? Yes. I'd also like to learn more about this Mirror region I keep hearing about. Somehow I think learning more about the Mirror region will shed some light on some things. What exactly those things are? I guess that's what I'll be going there to figure out. Rise and shine, everyone! Is that Elita? Welcome back! Hey, Lita! How are you doing? I'm quite... I'm doing quite fine now, dude. Thank you. I, uh... I wanted to apologize for how I reacted under, while I was under that curse. If I said anything rude, please forgive me. I wasn't in the right mind. Don't worry about it. That wasn't you talking. But if you say anything rude again, I'll know that it's really you talking. And in that case, I won't feel bad about slapping the shit out of you. I'll take your word for it. I also wanted to thank you all for what you've done to help me out of this. Without you all, I don't think I could have been cured at all. And I know that I was only just cured, but I think I'll be taking my leave. You're leaving? But why? Vivian was blessed with the power to feel the health and tear the earth. But when she sacrificed herself, her abilities became dormant along with a new power. Vivian told me that I have access to her powers, but I must awaken her. How exactly do you plan to do that? Become a nomad and find yourself? Haha, <laughs> no. But I must travel to find three springs of the three springs of life and use their water to purify my body and soul. Three springs of life. I can't say I've heard of them. The springs that belong to the protectors, maybe. 
One of the springs is bringing purification of some sherry. That's the place that was located behind Shivivu's house. What about the other two? The spring of perseveration. The spring of perseveration. Persever Perseveration and rejuvenation? Well, I actually have no idea what the spring of rejuvenation is, but... I hear there's a huge spring-like area in the Evergreen for Forest area. So I think that's where I'm going to head next. Will Sella be going with me? No. This is something I have to do on my own. From the moment I left Sheridan with Shen, I always relied on others to help me do everything. But if I truly want to awaken as a new person, I'll have to do it alone. And if I want to keep fighting with Team Zen, I'm going to have to get stronger. Thus, I'm also be leaving all of my Pokemon behind as well. Uh, except for my Holucha, of course. Oh. I see, so you're going the Ash route. <laughs> leaving all your Pokemon and just going with your main starter. So, this is goodbye then? Yep, for now at least. Goodbye, everyone. I promise that I'll be even stronger the next time we meet. Goodbye, Elita. Good luck on your journey. Elita, you're too kind. Come back with a backbone, alright? I promise. Reunion. I don't care what Flora said. I don't trust you. Who's to say that you won't rat us out the next moment you get? Flora. Flora is the last hope for the people of the Badlands. For my people. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but a wrong can be made right. This isn't personal, Shen. It's just business. Madam X, I have a question for you. And since when were you so polite? Just ask. How exactly did I awaken myself? Who knows? I saw Venom with you when you appeared before Melanie. Perhaps your friendship with Venom allowed you to have some sort of interchange. Friendship, huh? There's something that I find amusing about you, Madam X. You go on pretending to understand everything and everything. But the mask you wear in your head is blinds you from things that are clear as day. I now know what I'm fighting for. I'm fighting for a better tomorrow. Team Zen wants the power that I have inside of me so that they can use it to bring back Storm 9. That I'm sure of. But even if that's something that threatens the very existence of each and every being on this earth, I can't help but feel like I'm mostly just fighting for the ones I love. Even if everything isn't set in stone, there's something that I know. One day, it is destined for us to clash, Madam X, and I will fight. And I will win. Wow. <laughs> that was quite the episode, guys. Um, well, that's the end of this version. I might do some side quests if I can find any to do on the, on the side. I'm gonna search for those um, kimono girls to bring back them back here. Um, I'm hoping this isn't muted because this is a great episode. Please don't let this be muted. Alright then guys, I will see you guys in the next version. Thanks for watching.